Hi there. So what we're going to be doing today is um, we're looking at the artist Vincent van Gogh. I have two examples of his work next to me and these examples will be on your desk to help you. And we're going to look at the way that he uses mark making. So this builds on from the lesson that we had last week where we looked at different types of mark making. Um, and we explore those using different materials and media. So we're going to look at uh, his marks and we're going to apply these marks to some of these images of birds. And now I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so we're going to do um, we're going to do four different birds, or rather four different sections of birds, and that's really important because I think it would be too time consuming for you to do the whole bird and I also think it's not going to give you an opportunity to really understand um, what it is that we're trying to get you to to understand in today's lesson. So the first thing that we need to do is to divide our page into four. Um, now it's not going to be exact and I don't think that matters too much. So what you want to do is using your ruler um, with the um, zero on the left hand side, put a mark at 10 and a half centimetres, take your ruler down your page, line the zero up with the left hand side of the page and put another mark at 10 and a half centimetres. Line your ruler up to those two marks and draw yourself a line. Turn your book round and working from the um, top of the page Sorry, the left-hand side of, of the page. Put a little mark at 14 and a half centimetres. Move your ruler along and put another mark at 14 and a half centimetres. Take your ruler, line it up to those two marks and draw a line. And then you've got your page divided roughly into four equal sections. Now, we're going to be using four different media. We're going to have our dip pen and ink which we've used before uh, on this page. We're going to have our fine liner, which we've used before on this page, our biro that we've used before on this page, and we're also going to use a pencil. Now I'm swapping my pencils out. Um, this one is quite a hard pen pencil. This is a 3H, and really it's, it's a little bit too hard for what it is that we want to do. So I'm actually going to switch out and use a slightly softer pencil. Now, what we want to do is we want to have our Vincent van Gogh images on the desk and, and be able to have those easily accessible so we can see this very particular style of mark making that he uses. Now, I've got four different bird images. I'm going to start with this one. Uh, now, we're not interested in colour um, today. We're just interested in marks and texture. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this down and I'm going to select an area of this bird that I can copy out onto here. Now I'm just going to emphasise what I've said before. This is not about the bird itself. This is about um, the marks. So I'm just going to put in a very kind of rough outline of this bird. Just a bit that I can see and I'm looking at this area here. Now I've put that in and I'm relatively happy with that. I've started with a pencil. You can map each of your boxes out with a pencil if you'd like to, that's absolutely fine. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start now to apply my marks. And I'm gonna look at my Van Gogh and I'm gonna notice that he uses this kind of stroke technique. Now if I'm using a pencil, that's gonna control a lot of the look of this line. Uh, my pencil has just been sharpened, so it's got a very small point on the end of it. So my lines are perhaps going to be slightly thinner than those that Van Gogh um, uses on his work. And that's fine. Okay, that's just embracing the material um, or the media, um, the medium that you've been asked to work in. So I'm going to start off with like a little base coat and I'm going to use these lines just to put in a very light coating of this sort of feather type pattern that I can see on the surface of this bird. Now as I'm doing this, what I'm doing is I'm looking at these changes in light and dark and I'm looking at these changes in colour. Now we're not using colour, so we're going to represent those colour changes by going lighter and darker with our pencil.
That's my first one, pretty much done. So I'm gonna put the rest of this on high speed, um, but ultimately the principle remains the same. You choose yourself a different image, choose yourself a different material. I'm gonna to move to biro. Biro is gonna come out even thinner than the pencil. And again, this is not something for you to worry about. This is just something for you to kind of embrace and explore and see how far you can get. Remember, if you want to map it out in pencil, you can, I'm absolutely fine with that. And I think in this instance, that's probably what I'm gonna do.
Okay, so there we have our three um, textures of our birds. And once again, just reminding you that this is not about the accuracy of the drawing. Um, we're not measuring them out. We're not concerned at the moment with our scale and our proportion. We're simply concerned with trying to understand some of the marks that we've made here and how these can be used in drawing and selecting the marks that we've used here that, that represent um, some of the marks that Van Gogh has used in his drawing. And as you will have watched me doing that, you will have noticed that it's all about the line. It's about using these um, straight lines or slightly curved lines to get the direction um, and the tone within whatever it is that you're drawing.